Congressman, I mean, you know, people are really disenfranchised by the fact that Election Day is no longer Election Day. I mean, here we are five days and the ballots are still being counted in Arizona. Uh, what's going on? Is there anything that you can do to, to get us back to where we were? And by the way, how many illegals uh, voted in this election? My friend told me she went to go vote and she said and, and she had her ID. She says, here's my ID. They said, put it away. Put it away. We don't want to see your ID. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard O'Jet here and Fox Business has a problem. Maria Bartiromo. She just doesn't know when to keep her mouth shut. While currently in a defamation lawsuit with the parent company of Dominion Voting Systems. Here she is ranting and raving about the midterms. What do you think about the black community? Do you think blacks are going more into the center and toward the GOP? We heard a lot about Hispanics uh, going toward the GOP and also about suburban women. Well, I, I certainly don't speak for an entire community, but I can speak for myself. When I talk about issues like bringing back jobs, when I talk about issues like make our community safer, when I talk about issues like lowering inflation, lowering the price of everything, that is not a black message, a white message, gay, straight, male, or female. That's an American message. First of all, the audacity, caucasity of this woman to speak about, quote, the blacks to a black man on her show. It smells a little like closet racism, that style when you know what they are actually saying, but when you call them out on it, they get really Offensive, really quick? Yeah, that's it. She really is just the embodiment of a Karen. From that nails on a chalkboard voice to the my friend told me that blah blah blah, she's the worst. I think we can agree on that. But her message, despite the lawsuit that she is in, is still the same. She's entertaining lies about voting. And if it's not the way you vote, it's who votes or how long it takes to vote or to count. It's all an issue when they are losing. When they won the primaries, I didn't hear a whole lot about election interference. When the MAGA GOP bag a win, the Democrats looked into the now confirmed election interference by Russia, it was a witch hunt and a hoax. But now, when the red wave looking more like some ketchup stains, we're really seeing that it's just about being sore losers. And who is better at that than Fox News and Donald Trump? It seems like journalistic integrity just isn't on the table for people like Maria. She also has caught a lot of heat for softball interviews with Donald Trump. And frankly, it's our job to make sure that uh, folks have trust in their election. I'm looking forward to making sure we do everything that we can to make sure everyone who's legally able to vote can vote and those who are not um, uh, can't. Well, tell the officials in Washington, D.C. that. Uh, because right now they're trying to get illegals to vote in local elections. All in all, it's clear that they are feeling the post-midterm blues of the red wave that never was, and they are itching for a reason to blame it on anything but the truth. Their lack of policy and care for the average American is plain for all to see. That is the unending hero worship of a literal comic book villain. It's all caught up to them, and they can't stop crying about it. Fun fact, a study commissioned by the Trump administration showed that voter fraud was rare, as do many of the other extensive studies in the last few decades. There is no evidence of widespread voter fraud, and probably even less evidence, if there is any at all, to support the claim that people who are not legally allowed just get their way with voting whenever and wherever. But for now, the only people that have been pretty vocal about voting illegally are those of the MAGA variety, and that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.